Hey, y'all, just a quick follow-up app on, or follow-up, I, I don't know why I keep calling it an app, but a uh, follow-up video on that, um, that uh, Nautico app, or whatever you call it, uh, Ran Nautico. Um, once again, you know, uh, something that I forgot to mention in the other video, this is happening all over the world, apparently. So, um, you know, to me, what doesn't make sense is the government. And again, I refuse to go and even try to look up the app. I don't even know if it's still available. I mean, today is July 5th, 2020. I don't know if it's available still. I don't understand why the government wouldn't shut down something like this. Um, to me, I think it's above and beyond the government's control uh, to, you know, take this down. I feel like whoever is in charge of this, if it is something logical, and when I say logical, I mean something that, you know, will eventually make sense, not something that is happening in the future and possibly is coming back to today, which some people may think I'm crazy, but hey, you know, I mean, in my lifetime, um, a lot has happened in the past 20 years in terms of technology, um, and we're just getting smarter and smarter. You know, AI is getting smarter and smarter, and uh, so bottom line is you never know. Um, but uh, going back to this, you know, if it is still available and the police and the FBI cannot shut this down, uh, things are being hacked, uh, so that could be a way. Obviously, big companies like Google and and um, Apple, you know, the the knowledge is what is worth the most. You know, um, knowledge is what companies gain. Knowledge is what people gain. Um, and when you have that knowledge, you could actually uh, obviously use it. You know, for the good or for the bad. Um, but I really believe that this is above and beyond uh, authorities, um, you know, in terms of the FBI um, or, um, you know, any authority across the world. Um, just be very careful using that app and, you know, start watching some of the videos and start putting together, you know, some some things, you know, like I said on my first one, uh, every video I saw, they had to go off on a hike. You know, and, you know, to me, perfect time for somebody to come in, slip in that bug. Um, or, you know, they're coming back and they see somebody. Or um, one, you know, um, they just walk like 10 feet. Somebody jumped the gate right in front of them and then they vanished or they went into, you know, another field. But I feel like it, it, it's, it's out of people's control. Somebody very, very smart is obviously the head of this thing. And uh, however this is working, um, again, if it's logical, you know, they're probably one of the smartest people on the planet. You know, if it's, you know, something from technology in the future or an alternate world, which is a possibility, again, you never know nowadays, um, but this is wild. And I just heard of this last week. I looked as far back as a couple of months ago um, on YouTube, at least. I'm not a big TikToker, but on YouTube, at least. Um, but, you know, again, use that drone idea. You know, send a drone over to your location first. See if somebody's getting there before you. Um, see if somebody's going there after you. Um, if you notice that these things are random, you know, um, apparently from what I've been watching, they pull up locations. And then when they try to pull that back up, the location is done already. So obviously somebody else went to that location. And I'm seeing things from all the way to the West Coast, to the East Coast of the States, you know, all the way to UK, into Asia. Um, it, it, it's wild. But um, just be careful. Once again, you know, go with as many people as possible. I suggest a couple of people stay with the car. Again, if you do have a license to carry, I suggest you do so for your own safety. As um, I've seen a couple of videos, and I'll repeat myself about these three guys found on a boat, three guys chasing a car filled with girls. I mean, um, so they're going after people. Um, and, uh, you know, I don't know if it's something where, you know, maybe you go on the app and some of these people are joining from all across the world. That's how they're reaching out. And they first start going on the app for curiosity. And then maybe there's certain keywords being triggered to let them know, oh, maybe they'll be a partner bearers or something like that. 
I don't know, but just, you know, once again, be careful. Just wanted to share my feelings uh, again. Uh, God bless, be well, and most importantly, be safe.